That's when I told her, her legs on my shoulders, I knew it was over, that Henny and Cola. Got me like a soldier, she ready for Rover, I couldn't control her. So lucky, ooh me, I was just like a toaster. Shorty was, no, was Shorty was hot like a, no, I feel like that's the toaster part. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think she was hot like a toaster. Then something about a folder, like a pornography poster she showed her. Mm -hmm. So maybe I don't remember all the lyrics. <laughs> I reckon if it was in the flow. If, if the, the song flow, was on. If it was in the flow, That's I think it would work. legs on my shoulder, I knew it was over the Henny and Cola. Got me like a soldier, she ready for rubber. I couldn't control her, so lucky you, me. I was just like a toad. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, welcome there at that time. Welcome, everyone. This is Trend 7. And this is Tyler Bate. We are Mustache Mountain, who are part of British Strong Style. Mm. Thank you very much. Enjoy. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Alicia Two, and I would like to welcome you to my interview with Mustache Mountain. Hello. Hi guys. Hello, how are you two? Very well, thank you. Mm -hmm. Honestly, thank you so much for joining me. No worries. Cool. I know you have been on the road with Destiny Wrestling on the Raising Hell Tour over the last few days. Yeah, it's been really good. We've done some fair some fair travelling over this lovely mm. country. Um, I think the first show was the first show was about two and a half hours away from here and then yesterday was that long haul to Montreal. Yeah. Um Which you sound thrilled about. No, but yeah. it was great. It is it is, it is a long journey, man, yeah. in the car and stuff but like that. But honestly I've uh Destiny's my personal favourite promotion yeah. outside of the UK. Yeah, it's honest. really, really good. Yeah. We enjoy coming here and obviously getting to hang out at like the Battle Arts Academy and cool things like that. Yeah, with like Santina, do you call him that? I know, it's like, do I call uh, him Santina Morella? Do, do, you, do you say with, Anthony with Corelli? The well known <laughs> owner of the <laughs> said venue. Um, but yeah, it was great fun. Really great fun. Really I love how it. we had this whole, you know, wrestlers meeting before everything went down and you said to everybody, you're like, yeah, this is a pretty cool building. It's a Santino Morella's building. It's as close to the WWE Performance Center as possible it's just like a scaled down version of it yeah. and I'd, we just hope that the people here like understand how lucky they are yeah the wrestlers here have really got it handed to them on a plate as far as the training facilities go so yeah let's hope they uh, kick on and grab the bull by the horns <laughs> I feel like you're mic checking again grab the <laughs> bull by checking. the horns Jesus of Nazareth was a bull rider. <laughs> <laughs> What's yours? The Mexican police force couldn't wait to go shopping this weekend. <laughs> Mics are sounding fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. yeah. I think I nailed it. <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> well, I, lo I love how you've before called yourselves the most handsome take team to ever exist, probably. I, so, I really who think would that come? We are. But the probably Honestly is at the God. end, which yeah. I love that you added. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've just got great hair. Probably more or, le more or less means definitely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Probably means we're just trying to be humble. Who <laughs> yeah. would come the close second? <laughs> That's actually quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, probably means we obviously know we are really good at stuff, but we're just trying to be humble. <laughs> um, <laughs> who's second? Hottest. Mm. Wrestler in the world. Tag team. Tag team. Oh. Uh, haven't scoped out the competition. Who says are pretty boys? Yeah, they're handsome. Who says I've got pretty boys? <laughs> One thing I love about watching you two in the ring is not just the undeniable chemistry that you happen to have when you're actually doing move by move, but it's how you like having fun as yeah. well. You're not just super talented, but you enjoy your time in there. And I saw that you were dancing recently. I think it was, is it called flossing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're oh, doing yeah, yeah. with Pete Dunne. Uh, yeah. How oh, did gotcha. that even come to be? I just saw like someone posted a photograph of it. I'm like, why? So that was... Why? In that six man against Progress. Uh, Bandido, Flamita, and Ray Horace, wasn't it? Yeah, in Seattle. Okay. And they hit us and they started flossing, so we got one up on them and mm. hit them back, no and we started flossing. And, and Pete, I can Pete's floss. floss. Oh, it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, why the head shake? Were you not too proud of no, how it he, turned out? He, he, he gave it his best shot. <laughs> yeah. And is the flossing just to kind of mimic what they were doing, or what yeah. is what is your go to dance move? Mine is obviously now the floss because I can actually do it. I, it takes a I little like to bit pride of pride myself on being quite a, a varied, yeah. varied dancer. A very qualified, I'm a man of the arts. And yeah, modern. yeah. Ballroom. I actually did ballroom dancing when I was younger. Really? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I 
Did yeah. you? I swear to God. Really? Yeah, for like two years or something. Ooh. I won a trophy and everything. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> I swear to God. Oh I've got a, I won a trophy. Real life. Yeah, oh, that's real cool. life. I love when <laughs> yeah, people learn ah, stuff about so their take two partner in interviews. That that's an great. Absolute n- network special. <laughs> <laughs> that's waiting to get picked up, that is. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So, I, can, I can see that <laughs> thought just running through your mind right now. Like you're you're registering it, you're letting it sink in. Yeah, I think I was like five or six years old. Really? Yeah, because my sis- my sister danced for like years, and just wanted to join in. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine him in a little green tuxedo or something. I think I think the trophy was for most entertaining couple. <laughs> yeah. Who did you win it with? Don't know. <laughs> you don't remember <laughs> the name? It, no. Oh. I was like, I was really young. I can't remember. Yeah, it's okay. probably only ten years ago, fifteen. So yeah, about fifteen, <laughs> sixteen years ago. Yeah, I could tell you what I. Have, I can't tell you anything. I think it was a girl called Bethany. There you go. Mm, it's all coming back now. I only remember her from the dance place, though. She was like my sister's only mate there. Oh. I, I don't know whether it was her or whether she's the only person I remember. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Association. You mm. have to find that trophy and see what names are on yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Add more gold to your collection. I mean, notable that people can know now. Mm. Mm. WWE UK Championship. NXT Tag Team Championship. Got like a drawer full of gymnastics <laughs> medals. <laughs> ballroom well. dancing ballroom championship. Couple of the year. Kane <laughs> <laughs> uh, Intercontinental Championship. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Oh, well, a few days ago, Tyler and I were actually talking about cartoons mm-hmm. that we used to watch yeah. growing up, Spongebob being one in particular. So I was going to ask, does that run in the tag team? Why the head shake? Well, Spongebob came out when I was about 30. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. that's a realistic target to aim back for. Because seven years ago, you no, were 14. Spongebob came out about 20 years ago now. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. It's like 20 years old. When I was 17. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, that's one of the great. <laughs> sorry to bring, sorry uh, to bring that up. Yeah. So the cartoons I watched were He Man, Master of the Universe, original, obviously. Uh, Thundercats. That was kind of on the way out. There was one called Pigeon Street, which was quite good. Uh, and everything else was puppets. Puppets. You know, like, um, were the Muppets thing, a thing? Yeah, the Muppets were big, and then but there was things like, um, oh man, Rainbow. Have you ever heard of Rainbow? Have you heard of half the stuff he's mentioned? Uh, uh no, He Man. Yeah, same. So that's Ray- the only one. So I remember. I, funny story about He Man. I, I was begging my mom for this He Man toy one time that we were out shopping, and I'd gone to get the He Man toy myself and lost my family. Oh. And I was wandering around oh, this no. like. I can't it's remember fear. what shop it was. It must have been like fear. Asda or something. Yeah. Like a big Asda. I was just wandering around and just started getting really scared. Oh, so yeah. I just went and sat by the car for like half an hour. And they were like running around Asda looking for me. It's fear on both ends too. That's the worst part. It's like you're terrified. Your yeah. family's like, where the it's hell did the we go? It's the worst fear yeah. ever. <laughs> oh what gosh. do you say to someone? Oh, but then when they found me, when they found me, they went and bought me the He-Man toy. Oh, that I wanted. Oh. Oh. Then Still then worked out in the end. Yeah. So then you so. basically ran away every time you went to hide. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you want something, yeah. you just hide just by the car. <laughs> well, here on the set, we not only interview awesome wrestlers like yourself, but we also interview musicians. So for you guys, if you could hang out with a band for a day or, or have a band write some entrance music for you, which would you choose? Mm. The band I'd definitely like to hang out with would be Oasis. Okay. Um, I got some, I'm like pretty one sure of the most it'd be a English great day. Answers. It would be a great day for everyone involved. What if they started fighting? Uh, it'd, it'd just be a great day. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably calm them down and then we'd carry on drinking soft drinks. Um, I can always see that turning into a match. <laughs> and then, mm, who would I like to make my interest music? I think I'd have to go with someone like really wild. Just to make it worth it, I don't. I don't like anyone in particular yeah, to like be able to choose one. So I'd have to just make it as entertaining what as possible. If, what if, you don't have what if we change this something. question really. a little bit? No. Oh, please. To you, they played you out at WrestleMania. <laughs> so it's someone you had to pick someone who made your music, and they would be playing you out at WrestleMania when you won the title. Like who get the biggest pop? Thirty seconds to Mars. Would they get like the biggest Maybe. pop? 
He's pretty famous, isn't he? Jared Leto. I guess so. Mind you, in America, Kid Rock's really famous. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> I don't, it depends don't, on WrestleMania is held as well. Because imagine True. if it was in the UK and you had Oasis oh, doing God. that. I mean, that would be like the biggest possible yeah, thing. Huge, yeah. Maybe I'd have some like really naughty dubstep or something. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that'd be wild. Mm. I love how no answers are definitive. Uh, <laughs> so good. Uh, so it. the answer is uh, Naughty Dubstep and Oasis. Okay. Good answers. Thanks. Solid. Na- naughty Dubstep isn't the name of a band. <laughs> <laughs> it just says it's a real nasty ting. Yeah, I was going to say, real, what real makes dutty. it? Real dutty vibe. Like, real mm. gritty dubstep. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Go like this with your face. Ooh. Yeah. Exactly. Throw a gun finger in the air. Yeah, of course. When it drops. <laughs> but then you miss the drop and have to play it off. Oh, no, That's okay. embarrassing. Oh, oh no, has that ever no, happened to you? Yeah, uh, it's yeah. happened. Really? Yeah. You I used to, I used to do this wrong. dance while I was out where I'd pretend I was the DJ. And I'd spin yeah. it on the drop and there'd be times I'd just miss. Mm. Just completely miss the drop. It'd be like two, three seconds too early. Then you, well, then I had to play it off. And then, like, yeah. it just, <laughs> you grab your drink. Like, oh, grab your pretend drink. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's fixing your wrist. Yeah. <laughs> I think the needle's gone. I need to get a new needle on my and then you CDJ. <laughs> I don't need a needle on a CDJ. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Well, do you have things that I do want to leave it with your fans? Because you have such an incredible fan base. Is there anything that you want to say to everyone who's going to be checking out to the interview? Um, yeah, we do. Re- we, we actually have got a really good fan base. I yeah. know a lot of people say that, but it is actually true. Um, like some of the incredible things like the art the artwork that we get tagged in and stuff like that and uh, we get like toys made of us and stuff because you know some of us have toys some of us don't so it's some always some of us are in the game yeah, as well yeah some of us are in the computer games some of us aren't I feel like there's more to that uh, oh. but uh, no, <laughs> in, all, in all seriousness yeah some like people make like toys of us and character tools and like little cartoon versions of ourselves and some of the artwork that we get is really, really cool. So, yeah, we have got a cracking fan base and obviously to them, <laughs> you know, you, they're the, one of the main reasons why, you know, we're getting the success that we are and, and, you know, we can only thank them for continually supporting us and no matter where we are or what they're doing, you know, we'll always be Mustache Mountain, so that's great. Well, I want to say thank you to both of you for joining no me today. No I really appreciate awesome. it. Thanks. And remember Bye, to, everyone. <laughs> and remember to everyone viewing, you can visit us at alishatoot.com for all exclusive interviews and features. See ya. Ta-ta.